What's up guys, it's Enigma Hood. So I was on IGN and I saw an article saying that Gearbox and Sega are being sued in a class action lawsuit over aliens colonial marines. Now you might be wondering, well, what? Why, why are they suing them? I mean, we knew it was a bad game. I mean, the reviews said so. And anyone who's played it, apparently they had nothing but negative things to say about this game. Well, it's not just because it's bad. But that's basically what the lawsuit's about. Um, they're saying that consumers were deceived by these fucktards. Um, they said that in trailers, in gameplay footage, uh, videos that showed gameplay, and it was alleged and presumed to be gameplay that was going to be in the final game, was not. It was deceiving. All this stuff was cut out of the final version. And the final product that we got was, well, let's say the, the trailers and the videos were not representative of the final product that we eventually got. And consumers felt deceived by this. They felt betrayed. And these things were very misleading because all these videos, promotional material, were to beguile consumers into getting a game which failed to deliver on all of these promises. That is what they're alleging in this lawsuit. But let's just boil it down here. What are they really suing about? They're suing that the, because this game sucked. I was like, really? You can sue for that? In a class action lawsuit? Then I was like, wait a minute. Who deserves to be sued? Not Gearbox. Okay, maybe, maybe, I don't know. But not just Gearbox, at least. 3D Realms. George Broussard, Scott Miller, and Joe fucking Siegler. They all deserve to be sued. Why? And including Joe Siegler. Don't think that he's exempt from this lawsuit. No, they all deserve to be sued. Because they misled us. They showed us trailers and video footage of gameplay that was not representative of the final product. Not only that, but they lied to us. On the forums, they said that this game was going to be brilliant. It was going to be awesome. It's going to be worth the wait. When it's done! Wait for it. When it's done, stop bitching. Fuck you, fans. You Duke Nukem fans, we can do whatever we want to you. Because we're 3D realms and we think that we're better than everyone else. And we're going to run the forums like a bunch of fucking Nazis. Yeah, Joe Siegler. That fat bastard. He lied to us. He said this game was going to be good. Last time I checked, games that are good do not get a 4.0 from GameSpot. Or an F from 1UP. And all of those other horrible reviews. And fan reviews that, were, that just were so disgusted by the product that we received. These are fans that love Duke Nukem. That wanted this game to be brilliant. They were anticipating this game for 15 years. And we got a pile of fucking shit. They should be sued. They're the ones that deserve to be sued. At least Gearbox gave us Borderlands 1 and 2. Okay, maybe Aliens Colonial Marines sucked ass. I don't know. I only watched the reviews and yeah, they, they pretty much said that this game sucks. You know. But that's not the game I wanted to play. I like Aliens. I like the Alien Universe. But the game I really, really wanted to play and was waiting over a decade for was Duke Nukem Forever. This is a game that was in development since the Clinton administration. We got the game during the Obama administration. Let me say that again. We got it during the Obama administration. They failed to deliver. They lied to us. If anyone deserves to be sued, it's 3D Realms. I encourage you guys to get together and file a class action lawsuit against 3D Realms, not against Gearbox. Because they really had nothing to do with the fact that that game sucked. It was all 3D Realms. It was all George Broussard. It was all Scott Miller. And Joe Siegler is responsible for being that fucking lackey. And lying to everyone on their behalf on the forums. And banning and blocking people on the forums who had even a little bit of criticism towards that game and how long it was taking. And treated everyone like shit. Post what you think in the comment section. I'm going to also post a, uh, a link to the uh, article so you can check that out as well. This is Enigma Hood signing off.